Amazulu King Mr. Zulgazulitini will this weekend receive the Kingship Certificate of Recognition. His journey to the throne has been marred by lengthy court battles and public spats involving sometimes even senior members of the royal family. News from Africa's Yanda Ngobo sat down with Amazulu traditional prime minister, that's Prince Mangusutu Butelezi, where he details the path taken by a royal while explaining the process of a king's coronation. Take a look. <laughs> When conversation with Prince Mangosutu Telezi in his capacity as the Amazulu Nation's traditional Prime Minister, thank you so much for giving us your time. How would you describe your relationship with the late King Goodwill Zulitini? Sometimes there'd be reports that there's a rift between the two of you. Sometimes there'd be reports that you are very close. I was asked by Mrs. Uh, Strilly Oppenheimer to deliver one of what they saw the brand, the brand Hest ser series of talks at Brand Hest. And it was the, the unconquered spirit of, the, of a conquered people, about the Zulu people. In that, what you call, speech, I said that in, in his capacity as my nephew and in, my, in his capacity as my king and my capacity as his prime minister, there were many ups and downs. There were agreements, you know, and of course a lot of people worked on, on trying to have a rift between us, even some political opportunists, you know. And then, of course, they, they spin this story that, in fact, I was just, I had just muscled in into this position in order to promote the fortunes of the IFE. Yes. Which, which was absolute Bangladesh because, <laughs> as you have heard from the history, where was the IFP during King Shaka's time when Ngazelele served him? Where, where was uh, the IFP when when Nyamana uh, served both King Pande and King Tejoayo and King Dinizu, there was no IFP. Because my mother is the full, is the daughter of King Dinizu and a full sister of King Solomon and Prince Mshihin. Yes. Now, I, I don't know then how, how one muscles in <laughs> if one is, 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 is a member of the family in the, in the manner in which I am. He carried his burden with dignity. We were blessed by his strength and boldness, for he spoke without fear or favor. How would you describe the impact of the passing away of the late King Kudul Zwelitini and his wife, Manthom Bimdane Nkosi, and the impact that it had on the Amazulu nation? It has been a, a very tragedy for us. Because our late king was the longest reigning king. He was just about almost 50 years on the throne. And I've served him for almost 50 years myself as his prime minister. And his passing away, I know that he had a chronic problem like myself, diabetes, which actually his father had as well, which runs in the family. The man. Then, of course, following as you were asking me, when his uh, widow and, 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 and queen, Princess Mantombi, the daughter of King Sopoza II, followed him so soon, uh, in a matter of a few weeks. It has been a double tragedy for the Zulu nation. It has really been two terrible, very painful wounds that the Zulu nation has suffered at the same time. And it's very tragic at present that some members of the rural family have tried to create conflict when conflict was not called for. 
when it comes to succession. But of course we know that the, pre- the president of the country, His Excellency Dr. Uh, Ramaphosa, has already made a decision that King Mrs. Zulu is, is the rightful heir, and, and that is gazetted as well, except for a day when he will hand over so-called certificate from just to conform to the traditional leadership legislation, which requires that he should issue that certificate. In the case of kings, not other Amakosi, who are less than the kings, it's, 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 not, it's not issued by, by the... As someone who's been in this role as traditional prime minister for decades, what are the qualities do you, you think are necessary for a king to possess to rule over the Amazulu nation? Kings are not voted for. You don't pick up kings. Whoever is appointed, uh, uh, appointed by, by, the, by the reigning king or the king that was reigning before, it automatically becomes the heir. Even with the present king, it's not a question that we like him or anything. But since, you know, according to indigenous law and customary law, he, he's, he has been pointed out as such in the sense that his father, we called on the nation to, to pay Lobolo or dowry for, for the princess, Princess Mantombi. And according to indigenous law, once a king does that, then according to indigenous law, the king contractually binds himself that the heir will come from that house. As I told you in, in my case here, my mother was the, ni- was the tenth wife of 20, but I, I became the heir. The, the, there was my brother who was older than me who tried to dispute the position, but he, he lost it on, on, because of that indigenous law. And you've been loyal to King Misuzulu Kazuelitini, so much so that some say that your allegiance to him is a personal endorsement for him to ascend to the throne. Of course, this is just nonsense because... Uh, even his late mother, in her, in her will, actually mentioned that he should follow. His late mother was appointed by, because he, he was the chief wife. Because when the, when the nation paid a border, then that woman becomes the chief wife. We as the Makos, as traditional leaders, are custodians of culture and, and also of indigenous law. According to indigenous law, I've already explained that the king automatically was, became king because, not because we like him or because we chose him, but he was actually chosen by his parents. And actually, the fact that the king asked the nation to, to pay the border for his mother, you know, automatically meant that the heir will come from that woman. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's nonsense to say that he was picked up by me. Because it's not true. Jehovah Jeh is silo says Hambi le. Is silo besu muntu you know, one of the reasons why there's been so much interest in your role as traditional prime minister is because, you know, you have some family members such as Prince Mboni Suzulu claiming that you have abused your position as prime minister to, in, in court papers, that is, to actually, you know, put, install your own person as the king. The old pe- man... I mean, like, there is a respected statesman and is related to the Zulu royal family. It's diverting the culture. Knowing, knowing that it, it, this, what, is, what is it doing is wrong. But at the moment, I can say, Matala Nengan Zetu. Nzokunana Sayaz culture. Nomisigo. Lawazu.
I mean, how bad have these legal challenges been for the unity of the Amazulu nation, but also a toll on you personally? I'm very deeply hurt because I don't deserve this at all. Because I think I've explained fully and even made an example of myself how I became in course of the Bethesda clan, that it was according to indigenous law and customary law. And actually, in this case, even the, 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 the will of the late king and the will of his queen, well, actually, it was in accordance with that. But, but even if there was no will, the very fact that King Sopuza's daughter's uh, was Lobolos was paid by the nation would automatically mean that the heir will come from that house. It's nonsensical to say that it's, it's me, that, that I, I have picked him up because I've explained. This has been quite transparent. I mean, in, what reason can, can they be given in, in view of all the background I've given to say that I, I, I'm the one who po- appointed him? It's, it's not true. How would you advise the royal family to go about unity and reconciliation? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's those who have rebelled from the, the rest of the fa- family who should come back to the royal family so that, you know, the, the royal family can be reunited. But of course, at the back of all this, we must remember that uh, it's not unprecedented. I mean, if, just now when I was talking to you, you know that they assassinated King Shaga, and it was done by his brothers. So it's, it's quite common. And then when King Panda, my great great grandfather on my mother's side actually had to fight a battle with, with King Tingan, as what you call They actually fought in Dondagsuga, and people died. And the, the section that supported Prince Mbuyazi. So, I mean, what is happening in, in therefore with these examples is, un, is not unprecedented. How would you like to be remembered for the role that you've played as traditional Prime Minister? I think that other people can judge that for themselves. I leave that to the judgment of history and, and the people themselves. But I can't say I did very well. I, I cannot do that. And I can't say that I did badly, because my conscience is clear that, that I've always obeyed my conscience, even my politics, you know. I stick even to unpopular, what you call, views, if, if my conscience tells me that it's the right thing to do. And I think that the, any leadership role is, is judged on the, on the, a person can be judged that he's a, he's a, he's a good leader. If, if he can make, Decisions that are difficult to do, as long as they are right.